Thank you, Philip, dear chairman, dear colleagues, and thanks to the organizing committee to uh, invite me to represent the European view uh, in this uh, field of the combined treatment of in resectable gastric cancer. As you know, surgery is able to cure some patients in gastric cancer, but the results and overall survival depends on the stage of the disease. And we can see that for at least for from uh, stage 1B to 4A, we need to improve the results of surgery alone. So it's logical to combine co chemotherapy and radiotherapy to surgery. And the question is how to combine these treatments. We know that we, we can give adjuvant chemotherapy after surgery, like in over tumors, especially in Asiatic populations. We have uh, at least these two phase three trials, especially in Japan, that uh, uh, showed an improvement of uh, survival using adjuvant chemotherapy, either an oral fluopyrimidine alone, like S1, or a combination of capsaicin and oxaliplatin. And you can see the uh, very high rate of overall survival in the combined treatment, and also in the surgery alone. And as you know, these results are not re reproduced in Western countries. And we have not a large fast free trial uh, giving the evidence of the effectiveness of adjuvant chemotherapy in Western countries, but only some meta-analyses like this uh, gastric group one that showed a slight improvement in terms of overall survival in the meta-analysis combining 17 trials, more than 3,800 patients, comparing any chemotherapy adjuvant to surgery alone with an hazard ratio at 0 0.82. We well known also the important uh, trial the ENT group reported first by, firstly by Jack McDonald and showing a long standing effect on the adjuvant radiochemotherapy in gastric cancer with a robust treatment effect in subset analysis, except for diffuse histology. But we know also the poor quality of uh, uh, surgery in this trial, the high rate of grad free 4 toxicities, and the fact that one third of patients did not receive adequate radiotherapy planning. We also know from the artist trial that uh, radiotherapy combined to adjuvant chemotherapy do not improve overall and disease-free survival in all patients included, but only a significant improvement in, of DFS in not positive patients. So we have uh, some arguments to uh, give chemo or radiochemotherapy in adjuvant treatment, but we have to consider the reality of adjuvant treatment in gastric cancer, and I think my, I thank my colleague uh, and friend uh, Arno Roth uh, for this slide. I completely agree with this slide, showing that this uh, adjuvant treatment in gastric cancer uh, can be given only for selected population, the subpopulation, due to uh, delayed surgery recovery, to uh, poor food intake, to dumping syndrome, poor performance status, and finally, some uh, patients uh, were refusing a treatment. And it probably concerns only 50% of patients in gastric resectable cancer. And we also know that uh, the adjuvant treatment is associated with uh, poor patient tolerance, with retreatment delays, dose reductions, and finally, early termination. So, adjuvant treatment can be available only for fit patients. So, it's logical to give chemotherapy before surgery uh, to have a better safety and before the post-operative morbidity, and also to improve the L0 resection, as shown uh, before by uh, David Ilson, that the importance of L0 resection in gastric cancer. But we have very few uh, large fast free trials 
comparing neoadjuvant chemotherapy alone to uh, surgery alone in gastric cancer, not in esophageal cancer. And uh, this trial conducted by URTC, published uh, in 2010, uh, planned to uh, include to include 360 patients, but was uh, early stopped due to a poor accrual and included only 144 patients with adenocarcinoma of gastric and cardiac tumors, comparing 5-FU acid, folinic acid and cisplatinum to carcis plus surgery versus surgery alone. And as you know, despite an improvement in air zero reduction, this trial did not show an improvement in terms of overall survival or disease-free survival maybe due to a, uh, an underpowered trial. So as on the other side, you know that uh, we have at least two fast free trials comparing perioperative chemotherapy, not only adjuvant, uh, with the MAGIC trial and the French trial, with very comparable characteristics of patients, except for the location of the tumor. A majority of distal gastric cancer for the uh, MAGIC trial, and the majority of uh, low oesophagus and junction tumor for the French trial. But the results are very comparable, with an improvement in five years survival, overall survival, from 23 on 24 percent for surgery alone, to 36 to 38 percent for combined treatment, with as a ratio of 0.75 and 0.69. One important point is the location of the tumor. And uh, as you know, we have to consider if the uh, tumor is located in the distal gastric tumor or in the esophagus junction, uh, especially uh, CWERT 1 and 2 are often considered and treated as uh, esophagus uh, tumors. And in this case, we have to consider the role of the preoperative radiotherapy. This uh, meta-analysis uh, included 14 uh, trials uh, comparing preoperative chemo or radiochemotherapy versus primary surgery for gastroesophageal adenocarcinoma and showed an improvement uh, of overall survival due to preoperative treatment with an hazard ratio of 0.81 with a larger benefit for GIGE junction uh, and for chemoradiotherapy, but it was not statistically significant. It shows also a longer DFS, higher as a resection, and done staging, and no more postoperative complication. And you know the important cross trials that compare surgery alone versus chemoradiotherapy plus surgery, but as you know, it concerns esophagus and esophagastric junction tumors and included 23% uh, of squamous cell carcinoma with uh, original radiochemotherapy using a weekly uh, regimen of carbotaxol. The post-operative mortality was 6% in the two arms, and uh, this trial shows a high improvement in terms of L0 resection, and also a decreased risk of death of 34% in favor of preoperative chemoradiotherapy. But, so an important trial, but that concern uh, both uh, squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma, and not only gastric tumors. So in conclusion of the, what can we say now with the, the uh, trials that we have uh, for the guidelines in this field? Adjuvant chemotherapy or adjuvant chemoradiotherapy are options, but uh, concern limited uh, and selected patients. And in this case, nutritional status is an issue. And it can be considered for patients who did not receive, for any reason, preoperative chemotherapy, but is not considered as a standard. Neoadjuvant chemotherapy alone, we have no large fast free positive trial showing the impact of neoadjuvant chemotherapy versus surgery alone in gastric cancer. So it cannot be considered as a standard. On the other side, the perioperative chemotherapy can be considered as a standard with at least two positive fast free trials, even if we know, and it has been said, that uh, only 50% of the 
of patients can complete the post-operative treatment. And we have learned uh, from uh, the CRITICS trial presented before that the radiotherapy cannot improve these results after surgery. And for oesogastric junction tumor, we have to consider preoperative chemoradiotherapy that can be an option and to, that can be preferred to perioperative chemotherapy in some patients. And finally, we can hope to have some progresses and uh, to some change in, in our practice due to the bet, uh, better classification with the molecular classification that will, can help us to better decide the choice of the treatment in this field. Thank you for your attention.